Never done this before. I let a friend sucker me into bidding on a car that was on eBay. I had never even really heard about this car ever in my life until recently. I saw the front of one and I thought it was pretty badass. And then my friend sends me this. He says, this is a really special one. So here's the car. It's a 1969 Lotus Europa S2 Type 54 non-federal car. I'm looking at the car going, this thing's pretty cool. You know, I like the interior. It looks like a small little cockpit. The car's tiny. You know, of course I start Googling uh, what the car weighs, which is roughly 1,500 pounds, mid-engine. It's actually one of the first mid-engine cars ever made. Uh, you know, Lotus is clearly known for having really excellent steering. You know, so it kind of checks a lot of boxes for having a car that, you know, is fun to drive, looks very exotic, and, uh, you know, something that you're not going to see. They made about 9,800 of these cars. So my buddy Tom says, you got to consider this. These are really cool. You know, you don't see that many of them. He was selling me on the fact that, you know, it's a unique car, fun to drive. It ticks a lot of the boxes that are important for me. Um, you know, and he also knew that I was looking for, you know, kind of a way out of the Porsche experience just because I wanted to, you know, I've always wanted to have something different. Something that's a lot cheaper, you know, to, to keep going, you know, for initial cost and just to kind of keep going down the road. When I looked at the ad and read the description, you know, it sounded pretty cool. You know, the guy said you pretty much need to be about five foot eight to drive this car, and I'm five foot eight. You know, talked about a few things. Um, at the bottom of the ad was something I really, I really liked. This Lotus Europa is a very unique vehicle, and not for everyone. It's for an enthusiast who is looking to experience the British racing energy of the '60s. That pretty much sold me right there. And he goes on to say it's basically a go-kart designed by a genius, which would be Colin Chapman. When I see videos of people reviewing this car, I can see and feel the breathless anxiety felt only by those whose minds can't grasp the pure thrill that only a select few cars can provide. I think I placed my bid almost directly after this. <laughs> but while I was reading this, I was also getting photos of, of, of Europas that were done really nicely from my friend Tom and another one of our buddies, you know, who, who knew about these cars. So, um, you know, here's here's a few of the pictures that they were sending me and I'm like, yeah, okay, I get it. This looks sick. You know, I'm like, these. why have I never heard of one of these? It's pretty cool. Um, and so I kind of started dreaming it up and seeing myself driving one. Tom sent me the eBay listing five hours before the auction ended, so it wasn't like I had a bunch of time to think about this. I just, you know, got the ad and uh, probably, probably placed my bid with an hour left to go in the auction. So as Tom was trying to talk me into bidding on this car, I told him I don't have the space for the car. I don't have the time to try and get it running because my wife and I are expecting a baby in the next couple of weeks, actually. Tom, being the amazing friend that he is, says, look, if you win this auction, I'll help you get the car running. That was kind of cool. I was like, all right, well, you know, I mean, Tom's a good mechanic. If he'll help me get it running, that would help me tremendously. Um, so pretty cool. I've been trying to get out of the Porsche bubble. Since I've gotten into classic cars, you know, I have stuck with Porsches. I'm gonna call my friend Tom right now. He just called me because the auction has ended and I don't, I legitimately don't know if I've won the car or not. I honestly hope I did not win this car because I don't have the time, I don't have the space. There's a chance that this car could run. It's not gonna run. Okay, hold on, here we go. He called me as soon as it ended. I couldn't watch. I couldn't watch. Yo! Dude, don't tell me. I did not look. I have not looked. No? I didn't win, did I? You won. No. You won! Are you sure? As long as, long as that's you, it was, it was under what you said your maximum bid was. No! Like, way under. Like the car sold? Yeah. No! <laughs> Oh, this is... Tom! What have I done? Oh, really? I won? You won. Oh, and here comes my wife.
Yeah, we're good, honey. I'll be right. <laughs> I'll be right in in just a second. <laughs> <laughs> this is, dude. Laura's gonna be pissed. Oh my gosh! I can't even believe I bought that car. <laughs> it's the first time I've ever even been on a car on eBay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. I won the auction. Couldn't believe it. Later that night, I ended up speaking with the seller over the phone and uh, arranged a plan to go and pick up the car the next day. So the next morning, I got up with my family, got my stuff together, and made plans to go down there, meet Tom, to pick up the car, meet the seller, and uh, see what in the world I just bought. I cannot believe how small this car is. Right? That's at my hip. Yeah. Like I was saying, literally dog will lick your face. Yeah, through the window. That's so yeah, crazy. Yeah. Alright, let's see how the door is open. <laughs> I cannot believe how small this car is. What a cool She's interior. almost taller than the collar. Look at that. Yeah. What do you think? <laughs> this thing is so cool. It's tiny. It's uh, surprisingly drives nice. Did this car come, do you think, with power windows or probably manual? No, it came with power windows. Oh, it did come yeah, with power windows? Yeah, originally with the power windows, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. It, it, was, it was like, you know, luxurious at the time, so it had all the... I think the Series 1 came up with manual. Yeah, these wheels are cool, actually. Yeah, body wheels, yeah. Tom! Hey, hey Tom, how are ya? How you doing? What's up, man? Good? This is my buddy Tom. He's the one who talked me into this madness. Yeah. <laughs> you remember Tom? Remember Tommy? <laughs> You're a normal sized guy. You're not like a. Well, I mean, I guess you're a little taller than, than average. 20, you know. 220, you know. Pulled oh, right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I can tell you that the new, like a new Lotus Elise is not fun to get Let's in. Let's hope and out. so. This is better than that. Huh? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. Okay. I've yeah. never been in a car where I had to actually turn my head to get in. <laughs> like, that's really, you can't. Wow. You, can't, you can't just do that. You have to turn your head. Are you the other person? You do hit. Wow. <laughs> oh, that pedal. Wow, the pedal box is tight. <laughs> oh, no, this is good. This thing's kind of loose. I wonder why that's. When you move the clutch, the, the brake pedal goes with it. Why is that? Trippy. Oh, this is by far the smallest car I've ever been in. This seat is comfortable. Really comfortable. So this is probably the worst part of the car in terms of cool factor. Shifts are pretty short. Another piece of wood maybe? all leather seats too. Everything is just right there. Yeah, that's and exactly easy that. to access, which yeah. is cool. Yeah, somebody told me yesterday, you're gonna have to learn all about Colin Chapman. Simplify and add lightness. Simplify and add lightness. Yeah. And the exhaust just comes right out there. Yeah. So I'm seeing, so this is the gas tank here. Yeah, so I recently drained it. Like if you look at it right under the wheel well, there's yeah. a hose right there. Because after I wrote it on the on the listing, I was like, you know what? I probably should check to see if it's all gunked up in there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that tank looks like it's stainless steel. It is. Yeah. Damn, yeah I think the, the previous the inside. previous guy supposedly up, updated. I gotta say, I love how simple this is. Yeah, somebody was a little slightly mechanical. No. I did do an uh, engine oil change, like, <laughs> probably 12 years ago. You did? <laughs> yeah, okay. right before you parked it. The belt's, belt looks like the tension was good on it, too. That's good. Nice. I wouldn't be surprised that everything just does exactly what it's supposed to do. I like the simplicity. I'm not mad about this paint at all. This is, this is pretty nice paint. Metallic. Okay. Black carbon metallic, or I think the Germans call it um, Mica Schwartz. Black Mica Schwartz or something like that. <laughs>
This thing just flexes like crazy. I love the Lotus symbol. How cool. But Is that the year that they changed it with 72? Yeah, I think so, yeah. The yeah. body style? Yeah. Okay. From Type 54. And this is the Type 54, not federal. So this one is has the uh, bumper lower yeah. than, than it's legally allowed. But it's legal because that's how they bought them. Yeah. This is, this is a cool one, yeah. You're a man of great style. <laughs> well, I got it this way, so... <laughs> Is it crazy getting in there? This thing is really clean. This car is going to clean up really nice. It's fresh tires on it with the brakes safe. Hopefully it runs. I think it will. Let's see. Crazy. Wow. I can't believe I uh, bought this car. It's getting towed to Tom's house. Tom is going to help me try to get the car running. It's just super cool. So I'm looking forward to that. It'll be a good time and experience with Tom to try to get this thing running. Hopefully it doesn't need much. We'll see. that's it for this week's video thank you so much for watching and a special thanks to my friend Tom for talking me into such a cool car if you're new to the channel uh, I post a video every Thursday be sure to tune in next week to see if the Europa runs or not and also you know if you like this maybe you'll like some of my other videos I've got plenty of them on my channel so consider subscribing leaving me a thumbs up a comment all that kind of stuff helps thanks so much I'll see you guys next week <laughs>